All right, welcome to part two of building a, uh, doing the bench work, a layout for model railroading. In the first uh, part, you would have seen that we could, we built the table so that it's movable, you can wheel it around wherever you want. And uh, I think it'll be really nice in my setting to be able to just shove it out of the way when we're actually working here in the shop. It's a multi-use building. Let's get to it. We're going to put the uh, blue board on here now. Actually, it's gray board insulation. We'll put on there so we'll be able to carve, carve things into it like um, streams or ponds or just deep cuts where we might even cut into the, to the actual OSB to make something deep. Not sure yet exactly what I'm going to do, but we're going to uh, glue this down. I have some leftover adhesives. So I want to rough up the, ed the, the bottom of this just lightly. Just use a saw. So the adhesive will stick. I'm really enjoying this table. It's nice to move it around because we, we come in here and work quite a bit doing uh, construction. All right, so we'll put some adhesive on. Boy, that stuff's thick. I'm gonna call in the big guns. So I'm putting uh, adhesive down. I, I drew a line there and there. So you want it between here and here? All the way down. All, the way, all, all, way of, down. all of it. All, no, that's a, that doesn't, no, all the way to the corner. From here. Yeah. See how hard that squeezes, huh? Wow. You're gonna do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm such a wimp. Uh, it's my wrist. I had wrist surgery, for those of you that didn't know that, so I don't have any strength. Even though I was squeezing with this hand, it must have. <laughs> uh, it, it does affect it, you know. You're doing a really good job on that. Ugh. I just make it look hard and then, so Dan, Dan feels better about this. This is gonna be the best railroad track modeling railroad track I've ever done in my life. You done? Let's wish it a by the way, this paint is wet here. I'm going to put some weight on that. Good, thank you very much. That's it's like a big help. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever used a transit for weight. There. Now I'll do the rest of these. it around a little. Nice. Very good. <laughs> Go 
going to run out of tools to work with. And the last piece it should fit. That much closer, actually, maybe putting some track down. All right, foam is down. Let that sit for two or three hours before I take that weight off. And on to the next thing. Hey, let's do some painting. All right. This will give it more of a uniform look. Much better. Still trying to fine tune the layout that we're going to do. I have a, a general idea. Thinking I might lay the tracks out, see what it looks like. Probably a good starting point. I'm gonna end up putting a trim board all the way around here. Nice piece of pine, which I have. <laughs> I have a lot of that stuff. I've mentioned I'm pretty excited about this. It's kind of an industrial black flat. Should uh, should be a good back backdrop for anything that we put on top. I roughly sketched out what I want to do for the uh, one corner. So I'm going to cut that out, set it over there, and you can see what it looks like. My plan is to cut into here and create a, a slope for the train tracks to come up. Should be uh, in the order of 2.5% uh, grade to get up here to the flat. And then I'm going to put a um, angled train station. It would be here. There'll be a, a backdrop up here with, with scenery, and I'll add some three dimension to that. So we'll have the backdrop for passenger train head back there and back down. Also allowing for some uh, tunnel work to come in. I'm not sure exactly where yet with this. I may cut this off to get a, a track coming out that way. Still building it. I kind of have it in my mind what I want. I'm still waiting for some flex track to show up. We have the train. Did I, I don't know if I've shown you the train. This is the kit I ordered, the Rail Chief Bachman. I assume it works. <laughs> Haven't used it yet, but it, uh, it came with some figurines and uh, other pieces. So that's what I'm basing. I needed this kind of to get the idea of what my measurements would be. I'm trying to scale this out. These are just some blocks. It would, at this rate, going like that, that would scale out to a little over 200 feet of train station, which would come back into this uh, built up painted scenery where I'd build a three dimensional build out. I'm picturing possibly a roof going over the train, coming up at an angle at a good, probably a 612 pitch, maybe 812. I am pretty excited about this. That is going to be so much fun to build. I'll build a, a angled, a gentle angle like that into the building. Oh, I can't wait to do that. Anyway, I get the tracks set on there. The trains are, they're not really in place. They're just 
sitting on there, getting ready to, when they head out, go down. A little different angle here, so I'll be cutting about two and a half inches, or what is that? Uh, 8, 16, about 20 feet, scale feet wide path ramp to come up for the, the train tracks. And then it'll go on down at, the, at a 2 to 3 percent grade. I haven't calculated yet exactly what that will be. I don't know. I'll be working on this. I'm pretty excited. So there'll be rafters coming around. And I'm still not sure about the overhang. Maybe you could let me know if you think it. I'm, I kind of think most trains do not go under a roof. Although they're, depending on the, the kind, this is a diesel, probably might not be safe. <laughs> Give me your input on that. I'd appreciate it. Thanks. I cut the notch out for the ramp to go down there. Just going to throw a quick coat of paint on here. I'm not going to fix this in place yet because I'm not sure something's going to happen here, I think, with an angle for a tunnel, possibly. I feel like a kid with a brand new toy set, train set. <laughs> this is a mock-up of a house. It's 24 to scale, 24 feet by 24 feet with a 12-12 roof pitch. I'm picturing a, a kind of a village across here. Might be lawns here with like a uh, built-up ledge all throughout here with a tunnel. Stuff is going to happen underneath here for sure. I have blocks put underneath here. Some of them will stay. Some of them will, will come out. Some are just uh, temporary till I put some more uh, OSB to close this off in different places. So we'll take this off for now. This one, this one, this one, and this one will be temporary. I'm going to secure these down through the table with some four inch screws so we can fix this really well. There, all the blocks are secured except for these three, they're just temporary. this to length now so that it will sit on in, in there. That'll be a nice transition right up onto there. So I've made a mark here and I know that or I made a mark there. Let's cut that out. Oh, nice. Oh, that's good. It gives a nice definition here. Nice ramp. Should be pretty good. And I do want to paint everything. Keep it all painted. This little bit of effort painting makes it so much easier after the fact, trying to fit into nooks and crannies. <laughs> I'll let this dry while I'm doing some other things on it. Cut this piece to go in here to come underneath this and we can remove those blocks. I'm just going to put some paint real quickly on just the surface of this one. 
second. See if I can do this without <laughs> getting paint all over me. Nope, I already got some on me. Uh, I guess I'll, I think I'll set back. So when I put this piece on, it'll it'll be a full piece across there. This paint, the, the paint is still wet. I just set this here quickly. I'm going to use the jigsaw and cut out some shape to it because I'm, I'm anticipating a tunnel in there for the train to come out. So I need to remove this part, but I was thinking it might be interesting to see some landscaping here. So I'm going to cut that out right now. And again, painting. I'd love to do that ahead. I think that's a pretty interesting little design here. All right, we'll set this piece on here and see how it looks. That looks really good. So we'll put some shims under here. I want to make sure I get all the sag out of that and get it nice and straight. I'm picturing this as being kind of ledgy and I actually, I went out roadside and I picked up some shaley ledge and I'm going to put that around to build that up. It should look really nice. And I'll do that to accent it all the way around there. So now I'm uh, building up some bracing underneath this. I've cut these to bring it up. It, it'll be up an inch at this point. And then we're going to turn and go the rest of the way. I have some more of this. So I'll, I'll run it this way. I checked with the track to make sure we're good for that coming down. So I have quite a bit of freedom. I think this piece I'll shape kind of like this one to give it some character. And that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. The next, next uh, video, I, I'm hoping to have a little bit of ledge put on here and define and finish the, the, the outrun there, the outrun over there. Start getting some, getting it to look kind of pretty. I think you can see sort of the character of what it's going to be. I'll have a track running up here. I think there'll be a second track along this one and tie into that. I'm supposed to receive the easy track in the next couple of days too. So that'll help a lot. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Tell your friends. <laughs> Leave a comment. I really, uh, I am new at this and I'm look, hoping to learn from you folks. So let me know. Thank you. Have a great day.